So finally the moment RCB fans have been waiting for is here. Yes, RCB have won their first game of the Women's Premier League. Welcome to Chitale Bandhu Mithai Wale presents the outside view. Chitale Bandhu Mithai Wale is proud to associate with Women's Cricket Zone to support and promote women's cricket. Let's take a look at the match summary first. RCB won the toss and opted to field first. And UP Warriors were bowled out for 135 and RCB chased it down with a few balls to spare. RCB needed to make a few changes to make sure that they didn't succumb to their sixth loss. That would have meant they would be out of the tournament. So they started with Sophie Devine and Sophie Devine responded tremendously with two wickets in the first over. She first picked up Deviga Vaidya then she picked up the big wicket of Alisa Healy. From there, UP Warriors were reduced to 31 for 5 at one stage and it was looking at dire straits for the UP side. From there, RCB needed to stop Grace Harris and Deepthi Sharma. Unfortunately for them, Deepthi Sharma was dropped at slip by Heather Knight and then a stumping chance of Grace Harris was missed. And the duo had a 60 plus score for the 6th picket and took UP scores for over 100. So RCB turned to their experience. All rounder Elise Perry and she responded in tremendous style. She picked up two wickets in an over to dismiss the both sets batters and UP Virus were eventually bowled out for 135. And now let's take a Chite Bandhu snack break. Now let's talk about the chase. RCB needed a strong start from their openers. Unfortunately for them, they lost both their openers in first two overs. Although Sophie Devine hit 14 runs in the first over, she was dismissed by Grace Harris in the final ball of that over. And Smriti Madana's struggle continued and she was bowled for a duck by Deepthi Sharma. When Heather Knight was dismissed, RCB's score was looking at 64-4 and it seemed like it's a familiar story for RCB once again. But the young Kaniga Ahuja had other ideas. From 64-4, she started hitting the UP spinners right away and she took on all the experienced spinners of so be it Sophie Eccleston, be it Deepthi Sharma or be it Rajeshri Gaikwad. From there, she took the attacking role and even as Richa Ghosh played second handle. When Kaniga Ahuja was dismissed for 46 of 30 balls, RCB still needed 12 more runs. And Dicha Ghosh made sure that they didn't have any other hiccups and as she hit Deepthi Sharma for a 6 and a boundary. Eventually, young Sriganga Patil got to hit the winning run and RCB had their first points on board. With that RCB win, points table have an interesting look. Can RCB make a late dash for the top 3 spot? Keep watching this space and women's tricks on for all the updates from the tournament. So that's it on Chitale Bandhu Mitai Wale presents the outside view.